Number 15 looks for us to solve this trinomial. All right, here, this is a degree two. So here we are looking to first factor it. So let's factor it. Let's set up our dashes here. That's a one times 21. So that is just 22. One times 22, which is just 22. We're trying to find two numbers that multiply to make that 22. That adds up to that B term, which is 13. Those two numbers are, let's see, 1 and 22. No, 2 and 11. That works. 2 and, times 11 is 22. 2 plus 11 is 13. Next, you want to divide by this AX term. So we're going to divide by 1X. This simplifies to just X plus 2 and X plus 11. Notice there is no simplifying step because the A here is equal to Z is equal to 1. All right. So this was standard form. Then we got it into something called factored form. But this is not solution because all we did was factoring. We did not get the solutions yet. To get it equal to to get it equal to um, a solution, notice it is equal to zero. So now you set each term equal to zero because our goal is to go from factored form and then go here to get the solution, all right? So we set each term equals to zero. X plus two is equal to zero and X plus 11 is equal to zero. We minus two to both sides. The left side does cancel, so leaving you with X is equal to negative two. X plus 11 equals to zero, so we subtract 11 to both sides. This cancels, leaving you with X is equal to negative 11. So your two solutions are X is equal to negative two and X is equal to negative 11 as your two solutions. Let's look at B here. All right, so notice to use the zero product property, it has to be equal to zero. So how do we get rid of a negative one and make it equal to zero? We're gonna add one to both sides. The right hand side does cancel, leaving you here with a negative nine on the left hand side. Bring everything else down, all right? And we set it equal to zero. All right, let's set up our factors here. So two numbers that multiply to make negative nine, that adds up to this middle number of negative eight. So those numbers look like it is one and nine, one and nine, but the negative should probably be on the nine. Let's check that now. One times negative nine is negative nine. One plus negative nine is negative eight. That is correct. Then we want to divide by that one X term. So your AX term, which is just a one X. So your factors are X plus one and then X minus nine. And here we set it equal to zero, okay? This is not the solution yet. It is just factored form. Now we set each part equal to zero and solve. X plus one is equal to zero. And then you have an X minus nine equals to zero. And now we solve, all right? So we subtract one to both sides, subtract one to both sides. This cancels leaving you with X is equal to negative one. For the X plus nine equal to zero, we add nine to both sides, leaving you with X is equal to a positive nine. These are your two solutions. X is equal to negative one and X is equal to nine. All right, let's look at C. Again, to solve it, we have to use the zero product property that requires this to be equal to zero. So here we have to subtract 15 to both sides. So the right hand side cancels, leaving you here with a zero. Bring everything else down. The 10X minus 15X is negative five X. Bring everything down, X squared, and the minus 14. Here we could set up our dashes. We're gonna find two numbers that multiply to make that negative 14. And then you want to find a number that adds up to this middle value of negative five. Those numbers look like it is two and seven. And the seven is the negative. Let's check. Two times negative seven is negative 14. Two plus negative seven is negative five. That is correct. We want to divide by that one X term. So here it becomes in factor form X plus two and X minus seven. And we set that equal to zero. All right. So 
Now we can solve x plus 2 equals to 0 and x minus 7 is equal to 0. We add 2 to both sides to the first equation. The left side cancels, leaving you with x is equal to negative 2. The right hand side, x minus 7 equals to 0. We add 7 to both sides. The seven, negative 7 and the 7 cancels, leaving you with x is equal to a 7. So your two solutions are x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 7. Those are your two solutions here. All right. So there you go. That is how you solve uh, these, this, two de this second degree poly trinomial.